Of course, my name is Radio King, and of course, today we'll be talking about um, the disconnection of the SIM card. And of course, that will be done if you don't uh, register your SIM card. And of course, that's like um, everybody is registered. But right now, all they need to do is just to update the details. You know, many people have been have been asking what is going on, what is going on because they register their SIM cards and they'll be receiving those messages about um, the uh, the ongoing. Uh, registration so many people are skeptical but today i will make you uh, understand the process and what's going on and uh, what's required so i'll be asking some of the frequently asked questions that's the faqs uh by many people and uh, uh, uh but before that i will just uh, Updates you that uh, the mandatory SIM card registration exercised by the Communication Authorities of Kenya says it's intended to decrease the um, the cases of digital fraud and cybercrime that have been commonplace in the local telecommunication sector. And of course, many people are rushing uh, because we uh, today being the 10th of uh, April uh, 2022 and the deadline is April 15th. So we only have five days. So by Friday, everything will be done. SIM cards, majority of them will be switched off if you don't register. But what here is what you need to know before you register your SIM card. Now, how do I know that I need to update my details? Now, you can visit any Safaricom, Airtel, or Telecom shop or an urgent business to confirm the status of your SIM cards. Your preferred service provider will also send a text notification to alert you if you yet to register your SIM cards or you have registered. So, and of course, uh, uh, you can go to any Safaricom shop and uh, any service provider shop. Uh, they will help you greatly on that. Now, the second question that I've been asked there is um, what details are required to update my SIM card? And um, one of the details, when you visit the, file, the various registration points, uh, please remember to carry your original identification card. That's the national identification card. And of course, the passport size picture of you. And uh, maybe you can, you can fail to carry it, but uh, nowadays they can just take a photo of you. And of course, um, if you are from a different country, you need to carry your passport. Are we clear on that? Now, many people are also asked, how do I update my line if I use a different registration document other than my ID or uh, to procure a SIM card? So, that's another question that people have been asking. So, as I said earlier, if uh, you are an alien or you are uh, from the military, you can use your passports. Not the id of course we have the military passport and if you're from another country you can use a different id are we together by there now the third thing that you need to know how do i update my line if i use someone else's credentials to register my sim card all you need to know is um in such an event you will be required to visit the registration point with the person whose details you used first obtain the sim card and then they will do some sim sim swap or something like that they will also then transfer the sim ownership to you uh, upon which you can continue the re registration update exercise after that now um for self-service you can use the ussd code that's the star 106 ash to check the details of the or rather the status of the sim cards that you have procured even if you are you confirm that your sim card is indeed registered under your name you will still be required to visit as a registration points to submit the other required documents that's uh, uh that's the, your passport size photo or rather they will just uh, uh take you a photo and update it uh, uh, the, uh the registration points so um that's just all for now my name is radio king and of course thank you for watching and thank you uh, for being part of us just remember to subscribe i'll be updating you my name is radio king and this is m radio just make sure you subscribe